For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do this problem that says determine the moment about point B, which is right here, of each of the three forces acting on the beam. So the first thing you need to do is you need to divide the forces into X and Y components. So this is the Y component of F2 and this is the X component of F2. The Y component of F2 has a magnitude of 500 times 4 over 5 which is equal to 400 pounds and the X component we don't really care since it's pulling directly away from B therefore is generating no moment so then we got F3 which has an X component and a Y component so now that we have uh, the x and the y, we calculate the x, f3, the magnitude of, of f3 in the x is equal to 160 pounds times the sine of the angle 30 given right here. And it has a magnitude of 100 and, I'm sorry, of uh, 80 pounds. However, the uh, y component is pulling directly away from b therefore it has no moment so this one has no moment and this one has no moment because they're pulling directly away from B so now that we have all the forces that we need to calculate the moments we go ahead and do that so the moment that one creates about point B is this one so we have this lever arm right here with a length of 11 feet so it's a 375 pound and let's assume counterclockwise is positive 370 pound force and it's making this lever arm turn counterclockwise therefore it's positive and you multiply by the length of the lever arm which is 11, point, 11 uh, feet and that comes out to be 4125 foot pounds positive or 4.125 kilo pounds per foot counterclockwise because it's positive the second moment assuming counterclockwise is positive the moment that the second force creates about b is equal to the y component of f2 which we calculated right here to be 400 pounds and it's turning this lever of length of 5 feet 5 feet and it's turning it also counterclockwise which means that it's positive now 4 times 5 is 20 so 2000 foot pounds positive which means 2 kilo pounds per foot turning counterclockwise and that is the moment that F2 creates and the last moment which is the moment that F3 creates assuming counterclockwise is positive about B is equal to this force has no effect because it pulls directly away from B but this force has a moment this force is we calculate right here has a magnitude of 80 pounds 80 pounds times the length of the lever arm which is this tiny little lever arm right here which has a magnitude of 0.5 feet and it's turning it counterclockwise again which means that it's positive so 80 times 0.5 is 40 foot pounds turning counterclockwise because it's positive so final answer for the moment that f1 creates final answer for the moment that 
f2 creates and final answer for the moment that f3 creates. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.